Hello and welcome again to this edition of Fi TV. I'm your host, Brad Swanson. We are coming to you just a few blocks from Florida's capital during the 2022 Florida Legislative Session. Today, we're joined by Mark Adler, who is the Acting Secretary of Enterprise Florida. Welcome to the program. And thank you so much for having me. All right, so we're gonna jump right in. Um, while I know what Enterprise Florida does, our viewers don't. Give them a little bit of insight into what you guys do. Enterprise Florida is the fun team. We get to go out and scour not only the country, but the nation and abroad looking for businesses to come to Florida. Mm -hmm. And we do have a fun time doing it. Florida is a very hot state right now. People are consistently looking to come and work here. And uh, we're inundated with people that want to do that. So we, uh, we're, we're constantly busy and we're constantly out recruiting businesses. Well, well, we know the governor's a big reason, but, but talk to us about why businesses want to locate in Florida. Well, I think the business climate here is really positive and has been for about 20 years now. Uh, I do think that the governor's policies, keeping open, not overreacting to mandates that were out there in some of the other states, really did help and gave people a confidence boost that we were going to continue to help their businesses if something were to arise. We also have a great state income tax policy. Maybe you've heard of that. We're incredibly pro-business when it comes to some of our tax abatements and some of our tax strategies. But I think that our weather is really the thing that draws people here. Uh, there are some states out there that you simply can't go outside uh, during a quarter, and that kind of hurts the bottom line. And it's really this time of year that, that the ads roll up north, and you guys are up there in those cold climbs, you know, actually really a month ago, and, and January and February. I mean, that's really prime recruiting season, right? Uh, well, it's really easy to go to some of those other states when it's 10 and 20 degrees outside, and I kind of sit in a conference room and say, wouldn't it be nice if we could sit outside for a few minutes? Right. So yeah, that does make our job a little bit easier. I love it, I love it. Okay, so let's go to you. How'd you get started with Enterprise Florida? Uh, I really love this governor and I loved what I was seeing and I was in private enterprise. I was doing a bunch of things with private equity and startup businesses and then I saw some of the policies and I said, you know, this is a really interesting person. And I immediately called and said, how can I get involved in the administration? I came to Enterprise Florida. I was the chief of staff and uh, I've now been elevated to this position and I simply could not be happier uh, with the vote of confidence I've been given. Well, the team is so much bigger than people know. How many people, when you, let's start with chief, how many people um, uh, does it take to, to run Enterprise Florida? I'll take all I can get. Right. Uh, but I have about 100 people that work over at the agency. It is an incredible team of people. No one person can do anything. We have a really collaborative, really great set of people that work together and they believe in the mission. Uh, I like to say we, we recruit we recruit crusaders and we do have a lot of them. Right. So so when we think of um, one of the things when, when I used to work at the Florida Chamber that I always admired was the foreign direct investment oh. um, initiatives and Enterprise Florida both contracts with people abroad and in foreign countries to bring new companies here from foreign countries. We'll, we'll, just, we'll, we'll get on that one a little bit. We've already have an amazing um, aerospace manufacturing uh, deal here. Where is that uh, today with our aerospace manufacturing and our space manufacturing? Uh, it's all over the place. And you know, as I was saying earlier, we have so many companies coming to us. We have an incredible team in international, and we're traveling again. We're going out to the air shows. We're going out to the manufacturing shows, and we're learning about those companies that want to come here. And I'm talking about really innovative stuff, uh, building new aircraft that we've never seen before, things that are going to make our lives easier and they want to build that in Florida. It's really uh, exciting. Love, so building, so that's manufacturing, right? right? Forever in a day, Florida's mission has been recruit more Florida origin manufacturers. How is the manufacturing sector in Florida and what, what areas in manufacturing are you guys working on? Well, I mentioned earlier about the governor. In his state of the state address, he said that was a priority for him, that he wants to build things in the state, and we have taken that mandate to a new level. Uh, it's great. Our state is great when it comes to manufacturing, but we have so much more to offer. We have so much space available. We have people coming here. They're growing. We have schools here. We have both community, private, and state colleges that want to train people to do incredible jobs, and they're coming in droves. So we're going to keep building things here and we're going to be building innovative things that matter. All right, so, so we've got a couple minutes left. Talk to us about what are the issues you're working on this year during the legislative session. I think that we're just out there trying to show the legislative uh, legislators what it is we're doing, what value we add, all the business that we're bringing, the passion that we bring to the process, and how we're going out 
uh, doing things that need to be done by bringing those companies here. And I'll say this to you, Florida does sell itself. You know, incentivization is important. Uh, other states do it, so clearly we have to be in the game. But we do need people like the ones that we have in EFI right now that are working hard to bring companies here and to recruit them and let them know all the things that we have to offer. Right, so site selection is an amazing thing. Talk to us about the future of Enterprise Florida. What's next? What can people look for in the future? I, I think that in the future, we're gonna see a lot of growth in Enterprise Florida, especially with all the businesses that wanna come here. I often say someone's gotta be there to answer the door when they come knocking. Uh, and we're inundated. I keep saying that, but it's the truth. We've got at least a dozen businesses a week saying, hey, listen, how do we come to Florida? And they're not, they're not as concerned about, oh, how do we incentivize ourselves to come here? Where should we go? Who should we talk to? Who do we be a part of? That's what we want to be a part of. We want to be a part of recruiting, but we also want to be a part of this red carpet treatment that we give to companies. Well, and I think that, that, that nexus of connecting them with existing resources in Florida so that where they select will just turn turbocharge their business because they already have their suppliers and their buyers and everything else around them. That's a really neat thing that you guys do that I don't think people see enough of, but that's pretty cool. And I just want to mention, we have 67 counties here. Those counties have mayors and they have uh, they have county commissions. They're all interested in what we have to say yeah. because we're the ones bringing them the business. All right, Mark, so, um, so the challenges are obviously the competition. We know no one's working harder than you and your team to go help existing Florida businesses, also recruit new businesses to Florida. Um, when, when Mark Adler isn't fighting for free enterprise and uh, Florida's economy, what do you like to watch? What are you streaming these days? Obviously, oh, we're the oh. Internet and Television <laughs> Association. We got to know. Uh, we watch it all. Uh, you know, we watch Yellowstone. We watch uh, my wife watch like Outlander. She gets me involved in these period pieces. Uh, but we, we it, it's everything. I wish I had time to tell you all the shows sure. we're watching. Well, well, I love it, Mark. And I, I tell you one thing that our industry is really proud of is Florida has a 95 percent connectivity opportunity for all of Floridians and all of Florida's businesses. So we'll continue to invest and you continue to uh, go out there and find uh, new customers for, for us and every other Florida business, and we appreciate it. Well, we appreciate the time giving today, and please make sure that you open a business in Florida today. Right. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate <laughs> Thank it. Thank you so much. That's all the time we have for this episode of Fi TV. For more great interviews like this one, make sure you hit us up on our social media feed. And for now, thanks for tuning in.